there's a whole lot of versions of happy. Buying art supplies with Sace's money is definitely one of them. But first, sushi. Um, ma'am, ma'am, madam, ma ma'am, ma'am, Sandy, you have to stay in the truck because you're a dog and you have no right to vote, so stay here. Or should we take them to go get a cookie first and bring them back to the truck? I think sushi first. Well, I think if we get them situated and they've gotten, gotten able, been able to get out, then they won't be so wound up. Maybe. So that, that, that's why I didn't do it. It's all right, that's real life. Okay, let's pick a treat. Let's find a treat, shall we? I think that's a little much. Hey, I think they need this. It says it's a mammoth bone. Do you want that, Bridges? Hmm? Do you want that bone? That. Look, that looks like beef jerky. That looks like, try that, Say, See if it's good. I'm not eating good. it. Say, did you want one of those? Do you want that? You can have it. Okay, you picked one. We got a $2.99. Huh? Do you want that? You have me trouble. I have trouble every day. Picky. Yeah, they, neither one of them like it, so we spent $10 on food. I knew they wouldn't. It's not good. Sandy's eating them. Oh, okay. Well, Sandy's good enough. My heart is beating so fast. I don't even know what to do with myself. Look, the gambling is in the air.
sweet tofu notion. It's a big ass piece know, of canvas. Huge, right? Wow. Wow is right. I wonder how much this one is. I need this. I, I need this size. I don't think you do. I need this. papers up here says I need those why? let me tell you why because they're made from recycled t recycled t-shirts mm -hmm. they're made from recycled t-shirts says they're totally recycled recycled the bold old, old recyclable and you post says I gotta have you po too because I have a new project in mind because I'm bored in the studios what project now, I'm not telling you it's a secret If a company makes something in this color, Rio buys it, regardless of whether or not she's actually going to use it. But today, I'm in a pink mood. Like the, the, the ornament over there on the wall that just hangs there, like this yoga mat that's been sitting in the studio for months. I'm going to do it, Say, Shut up. You don't know nothing about exercise. You're a skinny boy just naturally. Look at that. Look at that. Color. Look at that paper. That is just delicious. Look at that color. I mean, for real, it's just delicious. You want to give us a little backstory on this paper? Yeah, just a moment. Having a minute with my paper, Stace. Oh. Okay. So, I've pretty much always been on some sort of an art journey. I've been a very creative kid. I was the kid in school who wanted to use every color in the crayon box when I discovered that they had 96 and a sharpener. It was like the heavens opened up and the angels were singing to me directly. So, I have a real problem with commitment because to one medium or another because I love them all. I love passion. I love colored pencils. I love watercolor. Now I'm not always very good in all of those things. Pastels I'm pretty okay at. And um, watercolor I'm pretty okay at that too because I kind of use the watercolor techniques in my photorealism when I'm doing photorealism and I'm not burned out with it. I kind of use wash techniques because I it's just an easier way to do it for me and it's less commitment than putting tons of paint on the canvas at once. These papers though, paper calls to me. Look at that, Oh, Like I want a scarf out of that, that's just beautiful. So let me tell you about this paper. So not only is this paper beautiful, okay people, but it is designed by an artist who lives here in Kansas City and as soon as we can get a hold of her, we're gonna see if we can interview her because again, how do I make a living as an artist? I do a lot of these doodles. I have you guys talking to me all the time about this. This woman designs these papers and you know, I've seen these papers everywhere. This paper is designed by a woman here in Kansas City, but it's actually manufactured in India. Now don't get your panties in a wad about them being manufactured because let's just face it, you guys always tell me you can't afford your art supplies. So being manufactured in India serves two purposes. One, this is made from recycled t-shirts. How friggin' cool is that? Two, 
it puts people to work, man, that need a job. And it's a little less, it's probably more cost efficient to have it uh, done in India than it is to be done here. Sorry, just the truth. And it has that a sort of Indian flair to it. This, this paper here has bumps and, and texture on it and I freaking love the texture. And so, so this one's not really a paisley print, but this one feels like vintage wallpaper to me. And this one feels like vintage wrapping paper. And I'm so in love with the gold. And the cool thing about this one is, is that even though this is red and pink, it's less intense. So it doesn't come as far forward. So I can probably use this in middle ground. Okay. And then this one kind of corresponds with this this one here. Oh, sorry. I don't I really don't want to like screw these up. I'm so in love with these papers. Like seriously, it's it's a problem. It's a probably am, but it's a good probably am to have because you know, I could like drugs, which I don't. And I don't condone don't use drugs. Drugs She's are bad. She's addicted to candy though. I'm addicted to candy. Sugar is like cocaine, they said, as far as addictions go. So <laughs> I chose that one instead. That that was better. Anyway, so the, these right here are going to be, this is going to be background, this is going to be background, this is going to be middle ground. And then, and this gold will probably be middle ground because it's not nearly as intense. And by intensity, what I mean by that is, let me line these up. And I know that you guys are having to do this from the camera angle, okay? But if you squint your eyes while you look at all of these together, certain ones come forward and certain ones are barely there, okay? This one's really forward, this one's really forward. These three are bare, these two for sure are barely there. So these naturally fall to the background. So, that, that's what I mean by value and intensity. Intensity is how intense the color is straight out of the tube. You cannot get any more intense on the color than it is straight out of a tube. You can only lower the intensity from there. So, my thought was, my thought was that I would start playing in some inks and start playing in some Yupo because the, I have an idea for the Yupo. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. And I have always, I've, I'm, I'm versed in resin. I've just never shared that with you guys. Because I don't just want to pour resin on a canvas or a panel and be like, um, I, I, I need to challenge myself to do more. So I've waited until I had an idea that I thought, hmm, that might not be a bad idea. Now it might be a totally sucky idea, but at least I'm giving it a shot. So. Um, on the list of things to do now is boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Look at said artist and interview her about her career. I think it'll be interesting. Two, take these different papers and combine them with some other papers, plus make my own designs on the UPO to then incorporate this with the resin and a little bit of a pour to create some sort of work of art that hopefully is good enough that I can take to an art show because I really got to get ready for all that sh <laughs> Three, inspire you to find your heart today. Hope we've done that. Until next time. <sighs> Until next time, I still haven't come up with a snappy intro or an outro. So you're just gonna like, you know, I don't know. I gotta be philosophical about it and really think about it. So, ciao.